Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and I am going to demonstrate how to create a Liberty Collective and deploy a Node.js server to the Liberty Collectives using Admin Center. Let us start the demo by creating the Liberty Collective controller. For this demo, we are going to make use of two Linux machines. In one machine, we are going to configure the Liberty Collective controller. The other machine, we are going to deploy the Node.js server. First, let us install the prereq which is needed for this demo. So we need the uh, collective controller feature. So let's install that. Before that, let's set the liberty in the path. Let's use the install utility command to install the collective controller feature. Then the name of the feature. It's establishing the connection to the repository and then it is going to install that. The collective controller feature has been successfully installed. Now let us go to the other machine and install the collective member npm package. For that let's check the node version. Okay, so let's install. API connect collective member. The API connect collective member npm package has been successfully installed. Now let us go to the other machine and create the Liberty server first. Server create. Let's give the name as CC. So the server has been created successfully. Now let us convert that to a collective controller, collective create cc and then we need to pass the key store password. And let us ask it to create in a separate configuration file. We give the path on the file name. The collective controller has been created successfully. So now we need to add this along with the other information required for deploying the Node.js application in the server.xml. So let's go to the place where we have the server.xml file. Okay, so now let's go and add the necessary information so this is what what we got out of the collective create and then we are going to add the for the collective controller user and password and then these are the information which we are going to add for the remote file access and this is the deploy variable this is to ensure like whenever we deploy multiple servers each server will take a different port number to avoid the port conflict so now let us add the username password for the quick start security in the include.xml file. So now we are good to go. So we can start the server now. Start. The server is getting started. So the server has got started successfully. Now let us review the logs. Oh, we missed to add the admin center feature. Now let's go and add that. So we have added the admin center feature. Now let us go and review the logs again. So we could clearly see 
the feature that uh, server has been updated with the admin center feature so now we'll be able to access the admin center so we are going to access the admin center using the url so for deploying the node.js server we need to pack it it's in a compressed format let's do that so in our case, we are going to make use of the example express app, which is provided by the strong loop. So let us clone the repository. Strong express example. App. It's cloning the repository. The repository has been successfully cloned. So now let us get into the folder and we need to do an npm install to install the required packages. So all the necessary npm packages have been installed. Now let us pack it. So we are going to make use of the, the npm server pack command for this. So the node.js server has been packaged successfully. Let's launch the browser. Click advanced. Click proceed. Provide the username. Click submit. This is the admin center homepage. So we are going to deploy the Node.js Node server using this deploy option. But before that, first we need to register the host to the collective controller. So first let's do that. The host has been successfully registered to the collective controller. So now we can start the deploy process. Click deploy. So first we need to select the server types. Let's select Node.js. Then click next and then we need to select the application package then click next so and then now we need to confirm this we are going to deploy a node.js server as an application package click confirm now click the browse button and select the application which we have packaged this is the application directory which we have specified in our server.xml and this is the package file name so the package has got uploaded successfully so let's give it a name so one first of one and then we are going to select the host so let's select the host where we want to deploy this and then we need to provide the key store password and then click deploy The deployment process started so the deployment is successful so let's view the successfully deployed server so we could see that the new server has been successfully deployed though it's in the stop state so let's start it we're getting started now the node.js server server one is running successfully as part of the liberty collectives as part of this demo we have seen how to create a liberty collective and package the node.js server and deploy that in the liberty collective using the admin center thanks for watching the demo